you are welcome. A few days ago, I came on the line and I was talking about dangerous prayers. Uh, I said that uh, there are some situations in life where um, a man has to pray uh, prayers that are not normal. There are things that happen in the life of a man that uh, I say they require dangerous prayers. And um, a lot of people are ignorant on this area of such type of prayers. These prayers are being fought with the religious people. This type of prayers are being a topic of argument with a lot of people uh, emphasizing that uh, such type of prayers are not proceeding or they don't proceed from a child of God. And therefore, uh, it's good to understand that uh, in life, there are different, different trials and challenges, which some of the challenges are normal, but uh, some challenges are not normal. They have been pushed on your side or on your way by your enemies. We have different types of enemies that push us to change the tune of our prayer life. And therefore, if you have the wisdom from above, if you have the knowledge of the Word of God, and get a direction from the Spirit of God, you will understand how to fight such battle and you win the war. The case will be fighting will be uh, give you victory and you have favor on uh, the, any battle that you are fighting. And therefore there are things that push us or push a man to engage in such type of prayers. I know that uh, not every believer or not everyone that uh, qualifies to pray such prayers, a lot of people are used to normal prayer life, a normal dry prayer life where you pray, you don't care whether your prayers have been heard you don't observe the principles of that prayer. You don't look at the demands or fulfillment of the demands of that prayer. Like I said on the other video, every prayer has their principles. And all prayers, they have their demands. They have different, different type of demands because they are different type of prayers. And for you to be able to help or to get an answer in this area of prayers, like if you are being faced with a certain situation and you want to pray out of it, you need to understand the type of prayer that you need to apply in that particular area or that particular situation. You will not just use any prayer in the name of Jesus, I bind, I lose, I cast, no. Asking demons, where do you come from? Who sent you here? Th those are games that are being done with the manipulations and a lot of manipulated pastors and preachers are taking advantage of innocent people of God eh? who are heavily laden of burdens and they are looking for the solution of their life, the solution of their problem, the answers of their questions and uh, unfortunately they fall into a trap, they become a victim in the hands of these uh, uh, false preachers and false prophets and um, so-called deliverer ministers and confused people who are playing games with the life of men and women of God all over. But I want you to understand that uh, 
if you really have a problem and there is a way you can pray yourself out, there is a way you can utter a certain prayer and God will bring you out. Because I uh, uh, remind you, it is the perfect will of God to save his people. It is the will of God to deliver you out. It is the will of God to set you free from that challenges and that problem you are in. The questions in your mind, God is waiting you to utter them and he will deliver you out. But the way to deliver you, you have to understand the protocols of the kingdom of God. Because one of the reasons why uh, people are suffering uh, in these things that we are talking about is because uh, they don't have knowledge, and they, don't, they don't have understanding on that area. And therefore, there are types of enemies that will push you to pray a prayer I call dangerous prayer. Eh? In the book of 2 Kings, it made us to understand that uh, the same anointing can bring blessing and the same anointing can bring a curse. In other words, any good thing that you see, there is also the side effect of that thing. The Bible says all things are possible with God. God make it alive. God quickens. And also, God kills. So when a person becomes a victim of wrestling, a victim of rape, a victim of genocide, a slave trade, and unjust treatment, then no one can blame such a person if the person acidic, a dangerous prayer. Now the following are some of the, the enemies that can push you to enter into the corridors of the kingdom of heaven to be able to utter this type of dangerous prayer. Number one, acquired enemies. There is what we call acquired enemies. Acquired enemies will push you on your knees to utter a danger prayer. Number two, roadside enemies. Roadside enemies will also push you to, on your knees to release such a dangerous prayer. Number three, envious enemies. There are people who are just envious, full of jealousy, full of envy. And because of that, they project the way how they can bring you down. They set up some traps against your life, against your children. These type of enemies will push you into a room to release a dangerous prayer against them. The number four, inherited enemies. The enemies that you inherit from your forefathers, from the side of your father and the side of your mother. You are being fought because you come from that family. You are passing through that problem because you come from certain, certain home. And if there is something you are suffering, which are inherited from your forefathers, from your mother's side, from your father's side, then you need to apply a dangerous prayer. You need to apply a dangerous prayer. Number five, 
environmental enemies in your office. Some people are rising up against you. In a place of work, a place where you live, you are surrounded with enemies, people who don't want to see you enjoy your life. They don't want happiness in your home. They don't want your children to educate, they, to go to school or to do well in school, in education. They don't want to see something good coming in your home. Environmental enemies. They are very, they are not happy when they see a promotion in your office. Your business doing well. They are not happy. Such people, they will push you to this type of prayer we call dangerous prayer. And it is the will of God for you to release such prayers at such particular time. Then there are number seven, number, number eight, number six. A transferred enemies. A transferred enemies are people that people transfer problem into your life and these people are being transferred from other enemies which you are innocent or you are ignorant from. These are people that uh, also will push you to utter such type of prayer we call a dangerous prayers. That we have the conscious enemy, conscious enemies, where you are being judged, you are you are being condemned yourself. You you have a conscious, a, a condemned mind. You you judge yourself, and you can utter a dangerous prayer to be able to distinguish and come out from such negative effect and energy that are judging your life. We have unconscious enemies. Unconscious enemies also will push you to release such divine prayer. We call it dangerous prayers. Then number nine, we have what we call accidental enemies. Accidental enemies also will push you on your knees to be able to utter such divine powerful prayer we call dangerous prayer. Then we have parental enemies. These also will push you. The enemies that are coming from your parents. You did not do anything but uh, because of your parents. Now somebody is taking a trap, setting up a trap, setting up a, a, a target against you because of what your father did or maybe the problem was between your parents. And now they have been transferred to you. That you need to pray a dangerous prayer. That we have what I call a, a sibling enemies. Sibling enemies is where you have trouble because of your brothers and your sisters. Some homes have a problem like uh, the problem of, of Joseph in the book of Genesis was the sibling problems. Sibling enemies. Where the brothers gang up together to fight their young brother because of the vision, the man, uh, or the dreams that the man was giving, uh, giving to them or telling them. So they plan to kill him because of what the dream is all about. These are people we call sibling enemies and uh, uh, the members from your own house. Hmm? The people that trap you, the people that want to silence you because of what you have, because something good is about to happen in your life. So these are sibling enemies and they will push you to utter a prayer we call dangerous prayers. Then uh, another type of uh, enemy, I call them the sworn enemy. There are people that are in authority and they sworn themselves, they say you will never pass here, you will never cross here, you will never elaborate in this level. You will never achieve this. You will never become this. this. They use their authority. The position of authority. And maybe they are in authority in a relationship. Maybe they are your uncles. Your aunts. Eh? Your, your fathers. Your mothers. 
people that have authority, you are pastors, eh? you are witchcraft, witches, a witch doctor, people that uh, uh, submit to you because of their authority, you can rise up with a dangerous prayer and break forth from such demonic uh, influence over your life. Then we have um, another enemies, I call them enemies of misfired aggressions. Enemies of misfired aggressions also, they will be able to push you to release that dynamic prayers we call dangerous prayers. I hope I am communicating to somebody and this video is supporting and helping somebody to give a direction so that you cannot uh, die in that your problem because there is an answer at your door. Then uh, we have uh, relationship enemies. Relationship enemies is where you have been in a relationship with somebody and because you broke that relationship, now they threaten you. Because of that relationship now, they have to take advantage and they want to finish you or they stop your progress and they become the enemies of your progress and now they are fighting you, they fight your destiny, they don't want you to see good things or you don't have rest because of that. Now you can release a prayer we call a dangerous prayers. Are you listening to me? I believe that uh, when we make up our mind and we rise up to utter this type of prayers, we will see the, a lot of answers in our life. We will see a lot of answers in our situation. We will not cry. We will not become a victim in the hand of these pastors and these uh, religious people that are playing with our mind and manipulating our life every day. Eh? God desires you to know him yourself. Just know you are God. Read the Bible, read the scripture very well if you are a Christian. If you are not a Christian, you believe in, in, a, in a Quran, read your Quran very well. And whatever faith you have, just approach your God and read it. You don't have to lean on somebody else to be able to access God. The time has come for every individual to know their God. The Bible says, them that know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit. It is the desire of the Holy Spirit to reveal the secret of God in your heart. And therefore there is no any limitation that you need to go through a certain pastor for you to reach God. You need to be helped by a certain so and so. You can reach God yourself. Wherever you are, He is there with you. He is standing there with you. He is ready to hear your prayer. Are you ready to pray? He is listening to your prayers. The other enemies are called innocent enemies. There are people that fight you and they don't, want, they don't know if they are enemies, they are fighting you. They are being used innocently by the devil and by demons to fight your life. But them themselves, they are not aware if they are fighting you. These are the people you need to rise up with a prayer we call dangerous prayer. Now, there are those we call dangerous enemies. Dangerous enemy, those who threaten your death, those who want you to sleep the sleep of death, those who hijack your destiny, the killers of your dream. Hmm? <clears throat> These are people, human beings, that are full of the devil from the realm of red witchcraft. They want to silence you. The drinkers of the blood and the eaters of the flesh. Rise up, woman of God. Rise up, child of God. Rise up, man of God. Rise up and release a dangerous prayer. You shall be free. Hmm? Dangerous prayers are need. They are need. They are needed in such areas to apply dangerous prayers. These dangerous enemies are wicked. And they need to be destroyed. They need somebody to deal with them. These are type of prayers. A type of prayer that you need to pray with type of enemies. These are enemies that when they hijack your destiny, if you are not careful, you die poor. 
you die a miserable death. You sleep a sleep of death. You will never experience good in your life. These are very, very dangerous people. They are all over in the marketplace, in the office, in the church, on the, on, in the street, wherever you walk, wherever you go, wherever you live. When you travel, they travel around you. You fly in the air, they are together with you. Dangerous prayer will keep them a distance. Dangerous prayer will give them a distance away from you. They will not touch you. For God will fight your battle. God will raise up a standard against them. God will judge your case. Jesus will come into your case. If you believe in Jesus, he is the one who will come in your case. Therefore, I utter you, everybody, that you listen to this video, that you have heard this video, you have heard the words I have spoken in this video, I have spoken to you, by the grace of God, and I ask you to share the video, share with your friend, you can like it if it is a blessing to your life, share it to your neighbor, anyone that has a problem, any complicated problem, it doesn't matter whether your problem is a spiritual padlock, we have the keys. Dangerous prayer will give you direction to get a key to unlock your spiritual padlocks in the name that is above every other name. May the Lord favor you. It shall be well with everybody. God bless you so much. I see your problem being solved. I see God giving an answer. Thank you. Bye-bye.